What up, everybody? Ghost Season 4, Episode 3. We got our introduction to Tariq and Braden's new connect, Zion, who runs a fight club called Force Circle that he grew up fighting in and eventually took ownership of. Tariq and Braden met Zion through Davis McLean, who said he represented Zion on a Rico case back in the day. Zion only sells in bulk, and Tariq and Braden came to him 50 bands short. And Zion couldn't wait to start talking about Tariq's father, Ghost. He told him he thought that he would have known better than to come to him short based upon who his father was. But based upon who Tariq's father was, wouldn't matter because Ghost didn't teach Tariq the game. When Tariq asked Ghost to teach him the game, Ghost said he would rather kill him than to let him get involved into that life. So was Zion assuming that Ghost taught Tariq the game? And is this because Zion's father taught him the game? When Zion mentioned Tariq's father to him, Tariq replied respectfully he didn't know who his father was. And Zion let Tariq know that he did know who his father was at this point by telling him that he knows that he knew how to solve a problem before it became a problem. Then he let Tariq know that he finds it funny that he went and found him a white boy just like Ghost did. Then he turned to Brayden and asked him if he was as crazy as Tommy. Then when Zion walked out to handle some business, Davis told Tariq whether he liked it or not, Zion only took this meeting based upon Tariq's last name. So the big question is, what was Zion's connection to ghosts? Because from the sound of this conversation, Zion hadn't just heard stories about ghosts, but he knew of him personally, saying things like, I knew he knew how to handle the problem before it became a problem and asking Braden if he was as crazy as Tommy. Also because the fact he was able to make the connection between St. Patrick and Ghost because James always tried to keep the two separate. Where his name was Ghost in the streets where he literally tried being a ghost behind the shadows where very few knew his face. That's why at the end of season two, Ghost wiped out his entire organization sparing only Ruiz but also getting him out of town at the same time because they could all identify him as Ghost. And the only reason he sent Ruiz out of town instead of killing him was to save Angela's law license by getting Isabel out of town with him. You know Ghost doing what Ghost did, solving a problem before it became a problem. Is this also a subtle hit that Ghost is still alive? That part of Ghost faking his death was to solve a problem before it became a problem. So the fact that Zion could connect the name St. Patrick to Ghost lets us know that he most likely knows Ghost better than the other characters who have brought Ghost up already to Tariq, like RSJ and Detective Carter, who called Ghost by his government name, James St. Patrick. It was only Zion and Mecca who were both in the game for years who knew James was Ghost, and they both also knew about Tommy. Mecca could have known this information because of his ties to Lobos. Zion, on the other hand, might have even been around back in the day when Ghost got his nickname from Breeze. Because it seems like the only people who could identify him as both Ghost and James was people who were probably around when he made the transition from being called James to being called Ghost after Breeze gave him the nickname. And speaking of nicknames, another question. Is Zion his government name like my boy Zion Williamson or is Zion a nickname? And now I got to bring this up because I'm not going to address it with RSJ, Mecca, and Carter, and not Zion, even if the question becomes redundant. Is Zion Ghost Mystery Brother? Because the fact that it's been said that Ghost does have a mystery brother who we haven't been introduced to yet, and I'm sure this was not said for no reason. So we got to ask the question when a character comes into the story who is connected to Ghost past especially the way Zion was talking. Hear me out, saying something like, I find it funny you went and got a white boy just like Ghost. To me, sounds like something somebody's brother, close friend, or family member would say. And it definitely sounds like something Kanan would say. And keep in mind that Tariq told Zion that Zion didn't know who his father was. Notice that Tariq didn't say that to Mecca, RSJ, or Carter. Nobody else we expected could be Ghost Brother. Is this possible that it's a coincidence that he just said that to one of the people who actually knew Ghost the best, his own brother? 
And also keep in mind that Zion kept laying hands on Tariq. If Zion is Ghost's younger brother, I'm sure that Ghost used to lay hands on Zion to toughen him up because in power, Kanan said that Ghost was the meanest kid he ever met. In the same way, I'm sure Zion can look at Tariq and see that he needs toughened up. And knowing his brother, he knew Ghost would have keep Tariq insulated. Then also keep in mind that Ghost had a tattoo on his chest. We can see that Zion has a similar tattoo on his chest from the clip on the teaser where he's fighting Kane. And Zion's tattoo is on the opposite side of his chest from where Ghost had his tattoo. Is this a sign that Zion is Ghost's brother? And it didn't seem like Zion had any type of problems with Ghost either or anything like that. And even took the meeting out of respect for the last name St. Patrick. And told Tariq he likes the fact that he was a cocky mother. But Zion also does seem like he's most likely younger than Ghost. So he would be the younger brother. Meaning most likely he would be a half brother with a different mother. Because Ghost didn't know who his mother was. Another possible connection could be that Zion is Ghost's cousin, the son of Uncle Gabe. Because Gabe is still one of the biggest mysteries in the Power Universe, but at the same time, he likely also has kids himself. And because Zion is most likely younger than Ghost and Tommy, could mean that he is actually Jerome, the son of Unique, aka Breeze. If this is the case, obviously Zion would be a nickname. Jerome would be in his late 30s if he is still alive on the current timeline. And if he is Jerome, does he know that Ghost killed his father? And if he does, does he feel a way about it? Or could he have possibly wanted his dad dead like Tariq was hoping that Dre killed Ghost so he wouldn't have had to? Going back to solving a problem before it became a problem. Getting me to the next question, is Zion Monet's new plug? Something that might have been overlooked by the drama from the final scene was that Monet was telling her kids that she was starting her own business. Meaning she is going to be getting her own work apart from Noma and getting back in the game. So the question remains, who is Monet's new plug? And is it Zion? And if it is, do they have a past history? Or did Davis hook Monet up with Zion as well? Because there was a scene in episode 3 when Davis got a call from Drew asking for help with Obi. And it looked like Davis was in his office talking to somebody because he was said he was busy at the time. Then he sent Perla up there who was walking into the office with two coffees. So there's a chance now that Davis is back in the game. He hooked Monet up with Zion also off screen. But there's also a chance that she knows Zion from back in the day. Because it's obvious that Monet was the one making the real moves back in the day and not Lorenzo. And did anyone else wonder exactly how Monet was able to get the bricks from Carlos in episode 2 when Lorenzo couldn't? Keep in mind that in season 1, Monet was teaching Diana how to use her body to manipulate men. So with that said, I also got to ask the question because the fact I think at least half of us don't believe Cain is Lorenzo's real son. Because they look nothing alike and act nothing alike. And Lorenzo subconsciously knows this as well. That's why he was trying to put Drew in charge of their family business. And I know a lot of people think Kanan is Cain's real father. But could it actually be Zion who is Cain's real father? Keep in mind that Cain is lethal with his hands just like Zion. And he's also a player like Zion. Because we saw Zion coming from upstairs with two women behind him. And interesting enough, Kane hooked up with two women this episode. Also, Effie at the beginning and Noma at the end. Nothing like Lorenzo, who I think Monet was the only woman he had ever been with his whole life. And that's why he was so hurt when he found out that he wasn't actually Monet's first. Also, keep in mind that Kane is going to fight Zion in a cage match sometime in the next two episodes. Is this Kane fighting his own father in the ring? And now with that said... Could two things be true at once? That Zion is both Ghost's brother and Kane's father. This would make Kane and Tariq cousins, but at the same time, keep Tariq from being related to Diana. In season one, Monet told Diana that Tariq and Kane could never get along. Why is that? Is it because she knew their fathers, Ghost and Zion, used to bump heads? 
Not saying that they hated each other or anything like that, but simply a brotherly rivalry, and she knew it would carry over to Cain and Tariq. And I've heard people say in the last few days how so many people knew about ghosts, but the Tejadas didn't. The Tejadas kids are too young to know about ghosts. It would either be Lorenzo or Monet who would have known about ghosts. And I think people think that Monet didn't know ghosts because she had Ramirez get info on Tariq. But that don't necessarily mean she didn't know ghosts. That could just mean that she was digging for information into Tariq. And if she did know anything about ghosts, I doubt she would lead on to it or let Tariq know like everybody else has. Keep in mind what Lorenzo told Kane about Monet in season three, that she never likes to show her hand. And like I mentioned earlier, Mecca's knowledge of ghosts, any possibility he discussed this with Monet and that's how he knew Tariq shot ghosts. Because Tariq definitely told Monet that he shot his father. Because Mecca's connection to either Lobos or Blanca would not have revealed Tariq shot ghosts. Because Lobos was already dead. And if Blanca knew that Tariq shot ghosts, she would have tried to rest in him for that already. And there you have it. Leave your thoughts, theories, and predictions in the comments.